Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel MBBOs at Ease. Today we are going to see about the breast which is an important organ in the pectoral region. Let's get into the video to know more and more about the breast. These are the contents to be seen in this video. Do you think that only female have breast? No, not at all. Breast is present in both the sexes but in men it is rudimentary in nature. In female it will develop after puberty. As we all know it is very important organ in the female reproductive system and the main purpose of the breast is to provide nutrition and immunity to the newborn child. The shape of the breast differs from person to person. It may be hemispherical, conical, um, pyriform etc. And the breast lies in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region. In the diagram, you can see that the breast is divided into four quadrants. Upper medial, upper lateral, lower medial and lower lateral. And in the same diagram, you can see there will be a small extension in the upper lateral quadrant. And it is called as the axillary tail of spins. And the opening of that uh, small extension is called as the foramen of Langer. The base is extended vertically from the 2nd to 6th rib and horizontally from the lateral border of the sternum to the mid axillary rein. And an important note here is the breast has no capsule. Deeper the breast, there are some muscles, pectoralis major, serratus anterior, the external oblique muscle of the abdomen. And you have amazed how the uh, breast shows slight movement on the muscle. It is because of the retromammary space. It is a space which separates the pectoral fascia and the breast. And it is basically a loose areolar tissue which is the, uh, responsible for the slight movement. And in this diagram you can see the location of the breast on these muscles. Okay, let me say about the structure of breast. Anatomically, the structure of breast is divided into skin, parenchyma and stroma according to our convenience. In skin, we all know that uh, it uh, covers the whole gland and a small conical projection will be there. It is called as a nipple. Uh, it is located at the level of fourth intercostal space and uh, the nipple will carry the 15 to 20 lactiferous duct from the interior region and uh, some smooth muscles will be present which make the nipple more stiff some modified sweat and sebaceous glands are also present and in the diagram you will see a dark pigmented area around the nipple it is called as areola some sebaceous glands and sweat glands are also present here I keep on saying about the glands. What is the purpose of the glands? Uh, the oily secretions of these glands will help in the lubrication of nipple and areola during lactation. That is, uh, it prevents from cracking. And uh, the main important note here is the both nipple and areola are devoid of hair and fat. Parenchyma is also called as a mammary gland. It is a compound tubular alveolar gland. And uh, it is a modified sweat gland. Uh, here you can see it is consists of 15 to 20 lobes. On your left side diagram, you, uh, it is a single lobe diagram. And in each lobe, there will be a cluster of alveoli which is drained by the lactiferous duct. Uh, many lactiferous duct will carry out these secretions to the nipple. And in nipple, they will open it. Near its termination, you will see a small dilation in the duct. It is called as the lactiferous sinus. The stroma will be partly fibrous and partly fatty. Uh, in fibrous stroma, it forms a septa known as suspensory ligaments of Cooper. It is very important because it anchors the gland and skin to the pectoral fascia. And next, there is a fatty stroma. It forms the whole bulk of the gland. For our whole body, the nerve supply is the most important. Here, the anterior and lateral cutaneous branches of the 4th to 6th intercostal nerve will supply to the breast. And finally, it convey the sensory fibers and autonomic fibers. The impulses which reach the sensory fibers will finally reach to the skin. And from the autonomic fibers, they finally reach to the smooth muscle and to the blood vessels. And uh, the secretion of the milk will not be affected by any nerves. It is commonly controlled by the hormone prolactin which is released from the hypothalamus. 
Tubercles of Montgomery is nothing but a dosis verbaceous glands. It appears as a small bumps in areola. Its function is to uh, keep germs away from the breast. Okay, at last, the clinical anatomy. Incision of breast should be made radially to avoid cutting the lactiferous duct as the lactiferous ducts are arranged radially and the infiltration of the ligaments of Cooper will cause the shortening of the septa and form the PUD orange appearance. Size of a memory gland can be increased by putting an implant and it can be decreased by the breast reduction surgery. And uh, self-examination of the mammary gland is the only way for the diagnosis of the treatment. Cancer of the mammary glands is the most common cancer in females of all ages. Uh, it is mostly seen in postmenopausal females due to the lack of estrogen hormone, which is the most predominant hormone helps in ovulation. There are some surgical procedures for the treatment of cancer. Hope you have understood about the breast. For more videos, stay tuned to our channel, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you everyone.